Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be focused on the absorption of proteins. The previous video was on digestion. This video will look at absorption. So it occurs in the small intestine and it's an active process which requires energy in the form of ATP. So fast absorption of amino acids occurs in the duodenum which is this region here and slow absorption of amino acids occurs in the ileum which is this region here. Now there are two mechanisms for the absorption of amino acids. We have the sodium amino transport system and we also have the gamma glutamyl cycle. So the sodium amino acid transport system is the main mechanism for transporting amino acids and it's an active process which requires energy via ATP and it occurs at a 1-1 ratio. So one ATP is used per amino acid absorbed. So we, here we have the intestinal lumen, we have an amino acid here and a sodium ion. They bind onto this co-transporter here, which has two sites, one for the amino acid and one for the sodium ion. And then it's moved into the cell, the, cyt the cytosol of the intestinal mucosa. And then the amino acid from here can diffuse down its concentration gradient into the portal circulation. The sodium ion is pumped out via the ATPase pump and the uh, potassium ion is pumped inwards and obviously this requires energy via ATP so ATP is converted into ADP and inorganic phosphate. The second mechanism for absorption of amino acids is the gamma glutamyl cycle. This is another mechanism for transport out of the lumen into the intestinal mucosal cells. The amino acid in the lumen reacts with gluta thionine which is made up of gamma glutamyl cystinyl glycine and this occurs in the cell membrane and it forms a gamma glutamyl amino acid complex and also the dipeptide cystinyl glycine and then the amino acid is carried across the cell membrane attached to the gamma glutamate and it's released into the cytoplasm the gamma glutamyl moiety which is what's left is used in the resynthesis of glutathione and this is an active process as well which requires energy at a ratio of 3 ATP for one amino acid. In the next video we'll be discussing this gamma glutamyl cycle in a bit more depth so you know exactly where the ATP is being used but that's everything on the basics of the absorption of um, amino acids and proteins. Thank you very much for watching.